The following video is sponsored by MobileMaddenCoins.com. If you're looking for Madden coins on any console or platform, be sure to check out MobileMaddenCoins.com. Use code CLICKWID for a 10% discount. Hey, what is going on guys? Clickwood here back again with another Madden 17 tip video. And guys, today what we're going to be going over is something that you guys have been requesting in the comment section of my videos. It's something that will help you guys win solo challenges. Now, we did an offensive money play. This is going to be what I would consider to be, I guess, a kind of a defensive money play. But I will say there is nothing out there that I'm aware of right now that just guarantees that you're going to stop the computer's offense. Because it, when you get to all pro and especially all Madden, it's very, very difficult to stop them. Now, this is on an all pro challenge. All Madden's a little bit different, but for the most part, it works pretty much the same. The play that we're doing is from the nickel double A gap. It's called mid blitz, and it's very, very simple to set up. Basically, all we're going to do is we're going to come out and we're going to choose the guy who is covering the running back, and we're just going to go ahead and user him. Now, you can decide if you want to press coverage. It depends on kind of the situation, I think. Um, typically, you don't want to press cover when it's uh, first thing. Uh, first and long uh, because they're probably going to be running a lot of the time but uh, anyways that time we did look in the backfield we saw obviously you guys saw the uh, run pass glitch don't be afraid to use that on solo challenges the computer's not really going to audible very often so again they're going to come out and run here again we're going to commit on the run against the computer and we're going to get them again for a short loss here brings up now a third and 15 and again we're going to run the same play mid blitz again we take the other safety this time because he's the one who's covering the running back we're going to user control the guy that's covering the running back because the computer a lot of times will set their running back to either block or run for a really short route that time they ran a screen and the pressure got there so he threw an incompletion to the running back now again we're going to do it again here on third and three third and short is a little bit of a different situation but again they ran the ball so again we crush him in the backfield by committing on the run now, when, once that gets fixed, I'm assuming it's going to be a little bit more difficult for us to stop the run. But still, for, for right now, I think it's pretty easy, especially if you're in a mid-blitz. You're blitzing so many guys, you'll probably still be able to mostly stop the run. Um, as far as the pass goes, again, the quarterback's going to throw it really, really quickly a lot of the time here and make some bad throws. Um, sometimes you can get interceptions. Right there, they took a sack. So that sets you up in an even better situation here, second and 19. Uh, and again, he's, we're going to go ahead and run the mid-blitz. Again, it's not going to work every single time. Sometimes they're just going to dot you up. This time we actually had to cover the tight end. Uh, if they go five wide, I typically recommend that you cover the tight end because he's the slowest player on the field. That's the easiest player to use or stop, um, if, especially if you're controlling a linebacker so uh, or a, a safety or a linebacker, either way. Um, but again, bring your guy up as much as you can uh, so that you can uh, force him to throw it deep. This time they are going to throw it deep and ridiculous catch there. Uh, I think that's Josh Gordon. It might be Corey Coleman. Uh, yeah, Corey Coleman. So, uh, yeah, he just made a crazy catch there. That's going to happen from time to time, unfortunately. But uh, for the most part, again, what you're trying to do is just kind of scare the quarterback. And the computer really does actually throw the ball quite quickly, usually when you're in this formation. Uh, but sometimes they just get blocking like that, and there's not a whole lot you can do. They hit you over the top, and they score a touchdown. I mean, that's, I just wanted to show you guys that because that does happen from time to time. I'm not going to act like this is the perfect play to stop absolutely everything that the computer does. But again, it's just there to uh, stop them most of the time. And it really works really well. Again, they're going to throw it over the middle in completion. Very easy stops for the most part because the blitz gets in there so quickly. Again, here we got to cover the tight end. But it's really not going to be too difficult for us most of the time to cover a tight end. Um, usually they run pretty easy to stop routes. And the computer throws it out of bounds a lot when you're doing these types of blitz because they just get scared and they throw it out of bounds like a like a real NFL quarterback would if there were that many guys coming at him uh, a lot of times they just make bad decisions right here again uh, he did get good protection but he still threw it out of bounds the uncatchable passes I mean we definitely like seeing that third and ten and he is going to throw it here into coverage and again ridiculous catch there I probably should have tried to swat um and that would have been the easy way to stop that one. But again, you're seeing that the coverage is mostly there on all of these passes uh, except for the one to Josh Gordon deep but again, for the most part, very, very easy to win this. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, do me a favor, drop a like on it. Again, it's not going to work every single time, but it does work out a lot of the time. So hopefully, you guys have some good luck. Again, drop a like, subscribe if you're new, and I will talk to you guys again soon.